Hi everyone, this is Killshot from 999 Gaming. As promised, I wanted to do a video. This is going to be a more advanced video than one of the attack videos that I did uh, about a month back. This is going to be uh, how to attack, and as players grow in the game and get a little bit more strong, it's important that they understand attack strategies. And, and your basic attack strategy is going to rely on a couple different factors. One, the positioning of your troops. Uh, and secondly, matching your troops up against the opponent's troop that is that gives you the best advantage. So I've scrolled through a couple of potential opponents. Uh, this guy is relatively weak, so it's a good person to use for instructional purposes. Uh, you can also see my Titan. I'm not using the uh, level 25 that I, I rocked last week. This is a uh, Soku, and I think he's maybe 12, level 12 champion, so we'll work on him next. He obviously doesn't bring as many troops to the party as my level 25, but still this is going to be more than enough. With my troop levels uh, 18 and 19 here, obviously the opponent is going to be overmatched. You can see that I have one blank spot here for Unak, and the reason that is is because I've overbuilt in my barracks. So you, I think I can only keep 19 total troops, and because I have so many archers and pikemen and I've got them reinforced, that... I didn't have any room to build more uh, Unok, so I'm going to go in one troop short, which is not going to be a problem here. So this battle, he has three troops on defense, two militia, and one archer. So the the point here is I'm going to try to get my archers up a little bit tighter. I want to get a couple shots off on his archers before his archers can do any damage. Now. You can imagine as you get later in the game, this is probably going to be your 10 troops versus their 10 troops, so the positioning is important. I brought my archers up where they're in range, and now his militia that, over on, that are over on the far left, I'm going to put my pikemen against militia. It's a pretty good matchup for me. And this is a very important feature, and I've had several people ask. When you go with the archers pre-war, you want to drag that arrow and hold it down so you can switch your targets back and forth. You should see a little bit of an arch there. If you don't, they're going to run. So what I would do just to make sure is just kind of drag them over and move your finger back and forth a little bit just to make sure that there's that, that arc. Because if the arc isn't there, they're not going to attack. They're going to run. So we've got everybody set up. I'm going to take my Titan. My Titan's going to run in on their military. i got a couple extra pike men up here as well, too. I could send them in uh, just to down his military a little bit quicker, but they may be gone before they ever get a chance to attack. So let's hit fight, see how it all matches up. And I've also got a free spell, which is a poison cloud that comes with my Titan. I'm not going to need that either. You can see the archers. Two shots on his archers and they're gone uh, because my archers are so much higher. But still, had his archers been a little bit higher, I still had a strategical advantage in order to get that attack in before he could get an attack in on me. Uh, one or two extra of, uh, shots is, is going to be huge as you start to play better opponents. So what we're going to do next, uh, you can see my 85% medical school line. Nobody's going to be below that. I wouldn't actually mind if the Alithian spearmen were below that because if I kill them off, then I can uh, make some more archers and pikemen, which are going to be a little bit higher level to fill their place. So I will have to remove them at some point, um, especially when I start doing some more attacks. All right, so let's find somebody a little bit stronger this time. Uh, this this guy's a little bit more reasonable. I'll still have him overpowered, but this will serve the purpose. Uh, my Titan is five minutes away. I don't want to wait five minutes, so I'm going to gym that and get his return back a little bit quicker. You can see there's little chain links at the bottom. That means that I'm locked out. I can't build any more troops because I have other troops. So I can't build another Unak, which would be the type of troop that uh, Saku can take with him. Um, what I tried to do is to see if I could get rid of one of the pikemen to add an archer, and I cannot because, as I said before, my army camp is full at this point. All right. So we're going to go back with what we have. We've got uh, four pikemen and a couple sets of archers. And you can see my spells and then my relics. A couple flaming quivers and also a, uh, a uh, champion axe. All right, so this one will have a little bit more troops, so we're going to use the positioning, positioning and set it up a little bit better. Uh, this is a pretty tight area here, so um, it, there's no way to get three troops across. So we're going to have to be a little bit creative in how we get those troops up there. So what will happen is if I back all my troops to the very back, those pikemen and those archers are not going to charge. So eventually someone has to engage. Now if they were militia, 
in the front, I would probably pull all my troops back and let his militia charge in, and I would peg them off with my archers. But because it's pikemen and archers, we are going to have to engage in combat. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull these guys back out of the way a little bit. And what I'm going to try to do, if I can't get three across, I'm going to try to get two and a half, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So I've got two pikemen up front, and then there is a little move button. So we can turn them sideways and get them a little bit closer. I'll put my Titan up here as well. I'm going to back those off just for the time being and get my archers up there a little bit tighter because his archers that are over on the far left are going to be a really tough target because you, you basically have to go through two pikemen in order to get to the archers if you're going to go around. So because I can put my archers up there tighter, I'm going to go ahead and hit the his archers on the far left with my archers. Um, go ahead and slide these pikemen a little bit to the side. So there you go. So that saves me a little bit of time. I've got everybody in a little bit closer. I know cosmetically it's not the most beautiful thing pre-war, but it's going to be effective. So as I talked about before, with the archers, you just want to uh, slide, make sure you got that little bit of an arc, and then go back and forth. I've got it on the second uh, set of archers over on the far left. Or, or I guess it's the first set of archers, but it is on the far left. And then I'm going to have my archers go with the archers in the middle. And then what I'm going to do is take my Titan and try to run sort of out of the way a little bit. Because if I run straight, I'm going to engage those pikemen. So I just want to run a little bit to the right and then try to hit those archers from behind and get an attack bonus from behind. And with the other pikemen, I'm just going to charge in. So the quicker we engage the archers, then they won't get to fire. Now, I didn't scroll to the left and the right. You can see that there was a group of militia that I missed. But because I had my pikemen back there and because my pikemen are such a high level, they're going to destroy those pretty quickly. So even though I didn't scout it out totally, I, I'm still okay. All right. My archers took down his archers. My titan has engaged. And my uh, pikemen have taken out his pikemen. And the only one that really took any damage were the uh, lower level Alith and spear, spearmen, which I don't really care because I'm not going to heal them anyway. They were free. Um, it was a one of the um, relics had dropped, and I just used it for free troops. So you can see it takes me 19 gems in order to revive them which I will not do because I don't want them. I, and I'll upgrade my, my spearmen and my uh, goliaths and those things a little bit later on. Uh, and then they'll actually be a little bit more effective. So those are a couple different attack strategies. I appreciate everyone watching. Thanks for all the comments, all the, all the subscriptions. Uh, keep watching the videos. Ask any questions. I'll answer them as soon as possible. And look forward to seeing all of you soon in game. Peace.